Hello, this is Evangelist Dr. Robert L. McKim, Sr. from Carrollton, Ohio. Hmm. I went to this Kiwi Farms website yesterday evening, well, when I couldn't sleep last night. Went to uh, see what they've been saying about me and this situation that uh, I've been going through. And this uh, person here on Kiwi Farm saying this stuff here about the uh, time that my dad and Pina, before he had left to go to Florida, went down to visit uh, the family down there. But the reason why I didn't go down, it was too hot that day. I cannot stand being out in the heat like when I was younger. And we had an appointment to go to. We could not be in two places at the same time. But again, you know, um, these people, they think they're so smart. And all I want is my dad's money. No, really what I wanted was him to be buried like he wanted to be buried in a casket. Have calling hours, but that all got blown out of the water when it comes right down to it. The why he really wanted, because here's the thing. Well, I'm looking for some more information here. Here's the thing. He received not just Social Security, he also received workers' compensation. Because he was got... He was hurt on the job back in 1971. He was working for the family business. His uncle, I mean his brother, my uncle, was uh, the uh, sole owner of the business after their father had passed away. Long story short, um, yeah, here's this person here that says that, uh, they were on an SSI and their father, uh, uh, couldn't leave them much, uh, officially and, you know, out of their life, out of the life insurance. But my father, he only had, at the, when my mother was living, they both had $5,000 life insurance policy. That was all. Well, what happened was, after my mother passed away, the undertaker used all that $5,000. And, um, there's also a lot of money in the bank. Well, Medicaid came along, and I have the letter from the attorney, where the attorney wrote Medicaid, a letter asking them why they uh, think that uh, my father owes them back pay to Medicaid. So my father gave the attorneys four thousand dollars to hold to pay to pay Medicaid. Medicaid never responded, never responded, never responded, never responded. So, long story short, 
they gave dad that four thousand dollars back because this is what I mean excuse me for a father that's supposed to be estranged from his son why would he talk to me why would he do things with me even up to before he passed away doesn't make any sense because of the fact and here's the thing and I'm a witness to this last summer when my father was up here in Ohio before they flew back down to Florida for the winter Ernie and I had to go to an appointment, but before we left, uh, my dad and, and Peanut, had, well, Peanut called, and uh, my dad and her was trying to tell me that there was something wrong with the TV. It wasn't working right. So I said, well, I'll stop in when I'm done doing what I got to do, and I stopped in. It was all snowy, and... Finally, I play around with the remote control and got it back, got the picture back, but then the menu was up on the TV and it wouldn't go off. So I, I thought, well, maybe the cable company could tell me what to do. I called the cable company and, and get Renee, um, Pina. Renee was set out in the van during the whole situation and Pina she gave me her cable bill so I can have for her account and in the meantime while I'm on the phone with the cable company the cable company told me that Pina's cable bill was not paid it was not paid over a hundred dollars was not paid. Well, they, they they both said, you know, they both looked at each, each other and like, like, Patty was supposed to pay that. You know, my dad's like, you gave Patty the money to pay that. And Pina's like, yes, I know Patty paid it. Well, she didn't pay it. So, after I got the TV working, Dad said, well, I'll go to the cable office right now and pay the cable bill. So Pina gave Dad the cable bill, and he left shortly after we left to go to the cable company to pay the cable bill out of his own money. You see, this is what they were doing. They were also charging my dad rent. Why, if someone is married to somebody... Why would the children charge the husband rent? And, 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 uh, you know, it's, it should be, you know, 50-50. That's how it is basically with me and Renee. She has some bills in her name, and I have majority of bills in my name. But still, you know, we pay the bills jointly. It isn't her bills and his bills or all his bills and her daughters take her money because here's the thing me and my father went to uh, job and family services to talk to adult protective services here a while back to tell them about the abuse that they were doing to both their mother and my father so there's a report on record at, at Adult Protective Services about what had been going on. Of course, they wouldn't be able to get the report. It has to be an attorney to get the report. And then, of course, it'll play out in court. When it comes right down to it, the, the judge will read that report that my father made. 
and see that you know that there was abuse going on. They want everything because they are greedy. And there's people that's constantly saying things on this Kiwi Kiwi Farms. I mean, come on, people. You don't know the truth. You do not know the truth. You're only grasping at straws. When it comes right down to it. Call me names. Go show what kind of people you are, really, when it comes right down to it. You do not believe in an almighty and all-powerful God that is going to chastise you for what you're doing. And I know one person that is on... Uh, Kiwi Farms, but he says he's not, but he is. Otherwise, how would, um, here see I'm just uh, looking here I'm trying to uh, see trying to get to where Anyhow, my battery's almost dead here, but here's what somebody here has been saying on uh, in Kiwi Farms. For one thing, they were not her, his daughters. 
No one would treat a father the way they were treating him. I've never put my finger in his face and said uh, that I hated him. Never once have I ever said uh, I hated him. There's more here too I'm trying to find before my battery dies. Oh yeah, right here. And then this Mr. Moo. This Mr. Moo. Mr. Moo. Posted a couple of videos that uh, Renee's mother's husband made. One, you know, talking about... You know, he's sorry for uh, my father. Losing my father. But he then rambles on about him not believing, but yet then he quotes the Bible. And then this one here saying basically that uh, he's not leaving Renee anything. And see, they call me pastor. I'm not a pastor, so... They're, they're wrong on that, too. I'm an, I'm a, I am a minister, not a pastor. I do not have a past. I do not have a church to pastor. Yeah, she was suffering from uh, Alzheimer's because my father would call me several times late in the evening and tell me that he cannot handle this. He uh, doesn't know who he is. And uh, he would put the <clears throat> give her the phone and she would ask me when they met, where they met, A whole lot of questions. And of course, they've been going on to um, Facebook, of course, and uh, getting all my information I've been putting on Facebook. As for your concern, mister, whatever you, who you are, I got the picture there of Carl from. Uh, Oh, what was that show with Oracle? Anyhow, long story short. You know, it's important to me what my parents wanted. Maybe it's not to you, but it is to me. See, this person keeps saying yadi dadi dadi dadi. They don't want to listen about the Bible. They do not want to listen about God or Jesus or anything. There was somewhere here where they had got uh, a comment where Patty had said something. I guess on, on Facebook, they said on social media, but where did that go? Trying to look for it here real quick before my battery dies. Where was that? I'm looking for it. I know I saw it last night.
I saw it anyhow, long story short. You don't know the whole truth. I'm trying to tell you the whole truth, but you're not listening. They were taking money from my father's bank account. They would get his debit card and get money out of his bank account. They uh, would uh, cause situations by not paying their mother's bills so that my father will feel obligated to pay their mother's bills. It was all a scam for them to get what they want, their mother's money to blow the way they wanted to blow it. And, and uh, live somewhere rent free. Because yeah, Anita, another one of her daughters, she's been in and out, in and out of uh, uh, shelters. She has rented many places and got kicked out. She's a real piece of work when it comes right down to it. She wants to live there with her mother rent free. And have someone else flip the bill. I have pictures too of what they've done, but I'll, I'll, I'm not going to go there because I'm saving all that for court. But the truth is, people, my dad knew that they were 